Hello everybody. I'm here today to show you how to take lymph nodes from your harvested animal. Um, the process is going to be the same, whether it's a deer, elk, or, or a moose. The lymph nodes are in the same location. Um, and what I'll show you here today, we'll, we'll run you through there pretty quickly on how to extract those, those lymph nodes. It's important that we receive those lymph nodes because it really makes a big difference on um, how we're able to monitor this disease. Uh, chronic waste and disease has really become what we're what we think could be a pretty significant effect on some of our populations, particularly de particularly deer. So, um, getting these lymph nodes so we can monitor both the distribution and the prevalence of this disease is really important. So, I'm going to show you today one of the many ways to take out a lymph node. So, first of all, what you want to do is get the animal pulled towards the end of the tailgate. It's really nice to do it on a tailgate where you can drop that head down just on the edge there. That really helps. But if you happen to be flat on the ground, that's fine as well. So before you start cutting, it's important that you figure out your landmarks and, and where you need to begin your cut. I do that by finding the back of the jawbone. That's right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the back of that jawbone and we're going to cut all the way down until we hit the spine. So I find that mark right there at the end of the jawbone. And then I find right in the middle a little indentation that's where I start my cut because you end up cutting through less cartilage and things like that. You can start here like I mentioned at the back of the jaw that'll be fine but you'll find it just slightly easier if you start right here and you can feel that indentation with your finger. As I start to cut this keep in mind that if you're going to keep this um, the cape of this animal we recommend that you not do this because you will ruin the cape so if you have an animal that you'd like to get taxidermied then um, we recommend that you take that to your taxidermist have them cape it out and then have him give the head back to you and you can um, uh, bring it to a caiman fish office or follow the directions here on how to remove those lymph nodes. So the first thing I do, again, find the back of the jaw, find that indentation, make your cut right there. You'll notice that I'm wearing gloves. I think that's a really good idea and I encourage everyone to wear gloves when they're field dressing or they're collecting their, their uh, CWD samples. So cut through that windpipe, follow that down, that back of the jaw, just like I mentioned. And you cut following the back of the jaw until you hit that and that that spine. If you think you're a little bit off, just rotate that head back and forth. And where that head articulates on that first joint, that's where you want to be. You can see again that that the spine is right there. You'll find these lymph nodes at about 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock from the from the point of that spine. So they'll be here and they'll be here. So what I do is, is with a knife, you can cut away some of that salivary gland and you're kind of digging towards the head. There's one right there. I've cut it in half. So do you see that lymph node right there? You'll see that that lymph node looks much different than the surrounding tissue. So I'll go ahead and extract the other one. We encourage everyone to, to submit both lymph nodes in case that we need to do retests in the laboratory. You can see I'm peeling back that salivary gland, um, digging in. Again, you'll find those lymph nodes at about 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. You can see that one here. It sits right here on top. Um, slowly dissect that out with my scalpel. You can use your hunting knife, of course, that's just fine. But you can see these lymph nodes look much different than the surrounding tissue. Much different than salivary gland or, or some of this other stuff, some of the other glands that are here. Uh, we have our lymph nodes here that we just extracted. You can see those, kind of a bean-shaped organ, right? Pretty easy. Um, this one's been cut, so you can see the inside of it. 
um, they look um, they look much different right than say this and this is something that's commonly submitted to the laboratory this is salivary gland again we described it earlier as being kind of a chewed up bubblegum organ you see it looks much different than that this is not testable for CWD another uh, uh, tissue that we frequently get is thyroid which is here this lays along the windpipe and people frequently uh, mistake this for a uh, for a lymph node and they're just a little bit too far back in the animal towards the tail um, and these lie right next to the right next to the uh, windpipe and they look much different inside you can see they're pretty uniform um, in the way that tissue appears and again they're quite a bit different shape than a lymph node you can see they're flatter as well as being larger than the lymph nodes that we have here from this deer Okay, so you should have gotten, hopefully, a CWD kit. These are available at, at uh, regional offices. And uh, if not, you can just use a, a, a Ziploc bag to put your lymph nodes in until you can get a kit. But once you get a kit, just simply take both those lymph nodes, put them here in the cup, close the lid, and you can put that into uh, the bag. When you go to fill out, the tag that's associated with each kit. It's really important that you fill in your name, address, your license number so we make sure we can get those results back to you. Please fill out all the blanks on the tag from the date harvested, the species, and especially the age. And give us a location that we can find on a map. It's really important for us to be able to map harvest locations so we can figure out how good of a job we're doing as far as distributing our surveillance across the entire hunt area. So once you've filled out the sample location, uh, move on to the bottom part of the tag, uh, fill out the date sampled, who collected the sample, what tissue you're submitting, uh, and then submit it to the laboratory. Uh, we generally try to get those results back to you in less than three weeks. And we really appreciate hunters taking the time to collect a sample from their, from their animal or dropping their animal off at a game and fish office to be sampled. Finally, once you've collected your sample, um, CWD can be neutralized by um, soaking your instruments in 40% bleach for at least five minutes. It's really important that you take the time and clean them with some soap and water, get all the blood and, and gunk off there as, you can, as best you can, and then uh, soak them in bleach for at least five minutes. We as a department really want to keep an eye on this disease, and we really thank you for your help. We couldn't do it without Hunter's cooperation by submitting lymph nodes.